today i'll show you how to use chrono edit in comfy ui we'll go through the full workflow compare it with other image edit models and fix one common problem and that is image looks the same and doesn't change i'll show you how adjusting the frame settings can fix that so first upload your workflow in comfy ui and let me explain how chrono edit works this model doesn't just edit an image in one shot instead it builds a tiny video sequence from your input image and a short instruction from that sequence we extract the last frame and that becomes our final edited image in other words we are letting the model move through a few frames so lighting and pose stay stable then picking the last frame which is the clean result and that is because the model generates a short clip instead of a static edit you get much better consistency the same lighting pose and color from start to finish in comfy ui what we do is use an image to video and nodes workflow to create the short clip then extract the final frame that's what gives the natural consistent result but this is different from many standard image edit models like nano banana or quen image with those you feed an image and get an instant edit but lighting or pose can shift with chrono edit you'll see much less change and the result looks like the original image was always shot that way so let's talk about the model files you will need for this workflow if your gpu has good vram you can go for fp16 version there is also an fp8 build available which gives you faster generation and smoother results so if you are working on a low vram system you can use a gguf model and from my tests i suggest starting with q4 they give the best balance between quality and performance avoid q2 because they usually lose details there is also a distilled lora available that reduces the number of steps instead of running 20 to 50 steps you can generate clean images in just 8 steps which saves time and vram so when you download the models save them in the right folders put the base model inside comfy ui's models diffusion model folder save all lora files in comfy ui's models lora folder and for the text encoder vle and clip h are the same ones we already used in our previous workflow now i have uploaded the same image into the quen image edit workflow and use the exact same prompt so let's see how it performs and as a result it looks really good quen image edit gave a slightly better output than the chrono edit model in this example you can actually see the small details like the mouse taking a bath rendered very cleanly the lighting stays balanced and the color tones look natural quen image handled the edit very well and kept the identity of the subject stable without changing other parts of the image so we are also testing more results and uh, here is another example in this test i used a realistic image and gave a very specific prompt and the prompt is add a red car to the far right lane with its tail lights illuminated first i ran this test using quen image edit and it did a great job the model edited the red car exactly as described in the prompt and the placement was correct next i used the same image 
and the same prompt in chrono edit and hit run. This model also added the car to the same spot. But when you look closely and compare both results side by side, you'll definitely notice the difference. The chrono edit version looks more realistic as if the car was part of the original photo. The lighting blends naturally with the road and the reflections match perfectly. The Quan image edit version still looks good. If you think of it like using a real camera, the chrono edit result is what you would expect to see in a real shot. The lighting, contrast and environment all stay stable. So the final frame in chrono edit gives a natural and consistent image just like an original photograph. Now, let's fix the problem where the image doesn't change or doesn't match your prompt. If your result looks exactly the same as your preference image, that means the model didn't get enough frames to adjust the pose or motion. And to fix that, increase the number of frames to 24 as a starting point up to 33 frames. You can also adjust the start index to 32 to give the model a little more range to move through. So once you do that, you'll see the difference right away. The pose will shift correctly and the image will finally match your prompt. And here is the best part. When everything is set up correctly, the final image will 100% match your reference in pose, lighting and color. It won't look edited at all. It will feel like you actually took that photo with the camera in that exact setup. When I ran the same image with the same prompt using Quen Image Edit, the result looked even better this time. The face of the women was better, the lighting was balanced and the overall image looked clean and natural. Next, I compared Quen Image Edit with Chrono Edit side by side. Both gave good results, but each has its own strength. Quen Image Edit handled fine details very well, especially skin texture and lighting balance. Chrono, Chrono Edit, on the other hand, kept the overall look more realistic with consistent pose and color across the whole image. So you can test both and decide which one fits your workflow better. So that's all for today's video. Please like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.